Today's topic is, Cursor Parameters in PLSQL. In the earlier videos, we have learnt about cursors in PLSQL, and the steps of using it. If you have not seen the video, first watch that video from the link in the description box, or by clicking on the i button. And today we will learn about cursor parameters, or parameterized cursors. What are parameterized cursors? Parameterized cursors are the explicit cursors, having one or more parameters, while opening any parameterized cursor, we have to pass some values, and we will get the results accordingly. Let's look into the steps of using a parameterized cursor. The steps are very much similar, to that of a general explicit cursor. The only difference is that, while declaration we have to give the parameters along with their data types, and at the time of opening the cursor, we have to pass the respective values. The last two steps are exactly same as that of a general explicit cursor. Let's look into an example program. We will be using this employee table for our example. Here we have taken the cursor name as emp underscore sal, and only one parameter id, of number type has been taken. Note that, I have taken only one parameter, but you can take multiple parameters. In case of multiple parameters, the parameters have to be separated by a comma. While opening the cursor, we have passed only one number type value, as we have taken only one parameter, at the time of declaration. The number of values, and their data types passed at the time of opening, will be same as that of the parameters during declaration. Note that, I have passed the value by taking user input. But we can also pass constant values. Let's execute the program.
This is our output. We have fetched the names and salaries of those employees whose ID is greater than 105. Hope you have understood the topic. Practice some more examples on your own. Thank you.